After you've been working with borrowed elements or have checked out worksheets, you should always return them to the central file when you're finished. Now you can do that in the Quick Access Toolbar or here in the Collaborate tab like so. I tend to use the Collaborate tab because it gives me all of my commands that I need there and then. The Quick Access Toolbar only offers you certain ones like so. So you can see here, look, if I move up here like that, there's the synchronize there as well. So what I need to do here, I've actually signed out this column. If you remember in the previous video, I'm user two and I asked user one whether I could work on that column, asking for a permission to edit. So what I do now as standard work sharing etiquette is make sure that I relinquish that particular column again. There's nothing worse than coming into the office in the morning, you've given permission to edit part of your work set that you own, and you can't get into it because somebody else has still got it signed out. So what you want to do there is make sure that you give that information back. So we go back to the Collaborate tab here, and you'll notice in the Synchronize panel, I've got two Synchronize options there. I've got Synchronize and Modify Settings or Synchronize Now. If I do a Synchronize Now, that'll keep that particular column signed out to me, even though it's not in a work set I own. So I go to this one, Synchronize and Modify Settings. Now there's the model, central2.rvt, that's the one that we're working on. And you'll see there by default, Borrowed Elements is ticked. So where I've borrowed that column, what will happen is when I synchronize now, it will relinquish the following work sets and elements, which is great. So that will give back that column to user one, even though I've asked for permission to edit it. The other thing as well that you should always tick is this one, save the local file before and after synchronizing with the central model. That way it saves before when I've signed out the column with my permission to edit, but it saves after as well giving me no permission to edit on that column. That's a good audit trail to have to go and check back what you did sign out. Now I can add a comment here, you'll notice. So if I add a comment there, what I'll do is I'll put column returned to user one. So I'm adding a comment to this particular synchronize with central. I click on OK. That synchronizes with the central file, but also gives back control of that column to user one in their general work set work set, which is up here, as you can see in the active work set. So I've given that information back. So the best bit about that is, is it's good etiquette. When you're work sharing, always try and give that information back and just check at the end of the day, before you leave the office, that you've done a synchronize, modified the settings and so on. Now, you can add comments at key points and for significant changes, like I've just done so in the dialog box. So when I do this synchronize with modify settings, I filled in that comment box. So let's go and have a look now at the history. So I want the history of central two, that one there, which is the one we're working on. That's our central model file. And you'll notice there, look, my comment has gone in. So I've done a date and timestamp, user two, column returned to user one. So I can add comments at significant parts of the design process. Very, very useful in case the project backup needs to be restored in the future, because you then know what's been happening in the project. So that's how you relinquish your work sets and give them back to the user that you borrowed them from.